What is up guys, this is your boy Nintendo Graph Studios here, and today, welcome back to another predicting video. Today, I'm going to be predicting what will be appearing at Nintendo's E3 2019. Now, we already know a little bit about it, it's going to be a Nintendo Direct, and it's going to be focusing on specifically games, or at least most games, I mean, unless otherwise, um, games that are going to be coming out in 2019, um, so... Let's just get to predicting. Now, I'm not going to predict the order, and also, none of these predictions are actual confirmation at all. They're just what I think is going to happen, and my hopes and dreams that will never be fulfilled. Not really, though. But anyways, let's start it off with the first thing, a Smash character reveal. I bet you anything, that's, that Nintendo Direct is going to start off with the Smash Brothers character. It's going to be DLC Pack 2, or well, Challenger Pack 2, whatever it's called. The second DLC character will be shown off, possibly as the first thing at, in the event. Like, it'd be something great to kick it off, like a brand new character reveal for Smash Ultimate. That'd be awesome. They'll probably do that, I'm betting, they'll probably do it either th at the beginning or somewhere in the middle. I don't know where, but they are definitely going to be doing that. Considering, I believe we're supposed to be getting all the DLC by like February of 2020, so I, they, they're probably going to do it. Unless otherwise, but they're probably going to do it. Not confirming it, but I could just say I confirmed it because it's too likely. The next thing I want to see is um, games that are already that we already know about. So essentially, I want to see like a little segment on Super Mario Maker 2. Probably not a lot because we already know a lot about Super Mario Maker 2. Some people actually got to play it like hands-on, like preview of the game, like they got to play it. Um, some of them I don't know when. I think earlier this week. And we also had the Nintendo Direct. We've had so many trailers and all that stuff. I want to see a little bit more minimal Mario. Like, I want it to show up, but I want it to kind of be a little bit less. Like, I want it to be like a two-minute video or something like that. Just giving us some more information, reminding us of the release date, and maybe even something new. I don't want a lot of information out because we already know a, bunch, a, a lot about that. Um, and for Fire Emblem Three Houses, same exact thing. I want just some nim minimal information i don't i'm not not that i really care a whole lot about it because i'm probably not gonna pick fire, uh, fire on the three houses up i'm not that type of guy i'm not that type of person um i'm gonna guess that like again though fire on the three houses we already know so much about the game i think we should probably just get like a two minute preview or something like that and that that's good like introduce something new whatever um, but then we get into Luigi's Mansion 3 and Animal Crossing. These two games, I bet you anything, I, we need to see a lot of information about these two games. Because these two games are inevitably the most important. Um, they probably could, like, they, I'm not sure how much time they'll dedicate. They'll probably dedicate a lot more time to Animal Crossing due to... Um, how many house like the amount of people who want to see it like I love Luigi's Mansion 3 But it's like I bet Animal Crossing is gonna have a longer segment. We're gonna still see Luigi's Mansion 3 We'll probably get a release date. We'll probably learn a lot more about the game Maybe even they'll even have a demo or something like that at E3 They'll give us a release date and for Animal Crossing They're gonna give us like a big blowout of this info They're gonna show us how the game looks how the gameplay is what's changed from New Leaf to this game and a potential release date of sometime in the fourth quarter of this year. It's definitely not going to be early this year. That's kind of what I'm expecting. I'm, and I'm thinking that Animal Crossing is going to take around maybe five minutes or so. I don't know. It's going to probably be like maybe in the middle or maybe at the end, potentially, if Nintendo's not going to reveal a new game. So there's that. Um, and po Oh yeah, Pokemon Sword and Shield. Oh, I forgot to mention that. None of this is scripted. But with Pokemon Sword and Shield, I, again, just like Fire Emblem 3 Houses and Mario Maker 2, I want minimal information. Maybe more on Pokemon Sword and Shield since we don't know as much about those games as, like, Mario Maker 2 or Fire Emblem. I want to see some, I want to still see it. It's going to probably show up just like how Let's Go did in the E3 2018 Direct. Um, I just want to see them... Uh, just like, like they, I want them to go over some stuff, like more stuff, like maybe in, like say, hey, we're gonna be doing camera controls or something. I don't know. I'm not a Pokemon person. I'm probably gonna pick the game up. I don't know which one I'll pick up, but I'm definitely gonna get at least one of them because that game actually looks really good. Um, 
So yeah, they'll probably have another like short segment on that. Um, then I bet we're gonna potentially maybe get Bayonetta 3 gameplay. Like maybe, I don't think we're gonna be getting like a big uh, Bayonetta 3 like blowout like Animal Crossing, but I do think we'll at least see like maybe a gameplay trailer or maybe a cutscene or something like that. Maybe a better release window or something like that. We may see that. I'm not entirely sure, but I don't know. Um, and those are all, I believe, all the games that we know are coming this year. If I missed one, let me know in the comments, because I, knowing me, I probably forgot. Um, so those are essentially, like, I, what I believe is going to be shown off at the event. Like, in terms of, like, the first party titles, we're probably going to see, like, a section, to, like, to, like, for the indie developers and stuff like that, because, like, in, like, there's a bunch of indie developers on Switch, like, they could potentially highlight out more of those games. Um, they may even, like, start, like, have more third-party games. They'll probably talk more about, like, Dragon Quest, maybe. Um, because they talked a lot about it in the previous Nintendo Direct. Maybe they'll talk about Dragon Quest. Maybe they'll even give us, like, a big third-party game. Maybe they can finally add Persona 5 or Grand Theft Auto 5 to the Switch or something like that. Or a Grand Theft Auto of any kind. Just 3, 4, 5, please and thank you. I don't know. I want Grand Theft Auto on my Switch so badly. I want one that has good graphics, good, great gameplay. I just want it. So that's kind of what I'm expecting for third party. Either Persona 5 or it's going to just be Grand Theft Auto. Um, well, actually those are my uh, personal wants. So probably will not happen. Um, and then that would be it, but... What else could there be? Would, could Nintendo reveal a brand new game? Well, I'm not sure. Because they did say they were going to focus on games for this year. Now, get, but, again, they could be trolling. They could just be saying that and they'll just give us a new game. They've done that before, I believe. Um, so, we could potentially, like, maybe they'll give us a reveal trailer for maybe a brand new Switch game like Pikmin 4, uh, a new Paper Mario game that actually goes back to the original format, a Star Fox game that isn't a 0%, um, maybe, the, and maybe they'll just like it makes, add, like announce like a sequel or something like that to Super Mario Odyssey or Breath of the Wild or something like that. Or heck, maybe even like giving us like a Mario, like giving us a DLC pack for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I don't think that's gonna happen at all at least that latter one but man can dream so that is essentially what i predict um e3 2019 is going to be for nintendo not microsoft or sony honestly though i don't even think sony's going to be at e3 so um yeah those are my predictions now again don't take this super seriously this is what i would like to see at e3 2019 all right please do it nintendo get your fans happy so yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Uh, thanks for watching and liking and subscribing. And you're probably wondering why I'm just wandering around in circles with like the camera on me. And it's because I just realized I have work to do this weekend. Even though I'm going to be out of town for a little bit. Oh well. I, I can at least do this. And the DDLC mod. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Take care.